Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video series, we're talking about candlestick patterns. And in this particular video, I'm talking about the hanging man pattern, similar to the hammer in terms of its shape, but in a different position. Let's have a look at it. So this is what you get. You get a decent sized tail and you get a kind of smaller body. Now, officially, there's probably some official line in the textbook that says, um, that tail's got to be X percent of the body to be an official uh, hanging man strategy. Let me get my red pen and green pen out so we can, we can colour these in. So they can either be red or green, but let's talk about the psychology behind it because that's the important thing. And, as all, uh, and with all these things, guys, you know, let me know what you think about these patterns, whether you think they're any good, whether you think they're not, and how you integrate them with your own trading. So a hammer is reversed. We've got the downtrend. We get this pattern at the lows, and it makes a lot of sense, the logic of it. A hanging man is that you've got to push up to the upside, and then you get this pattern. So what is the theory behind it? Well, the theory is that genu generally, should I say, you get a, you get a sell-off in the early part of the day. So in other words, you're in an uptrend already, okay, you've got strength and you're looking for some kind of reversal. Then you see a sell-off in the early part of the morning or whatever it may be, up until around midday. That then recovers and closes perhaps near the highs. Now, obviously, if you've got a red body, that's gonna be your open here, and that's gonna be your close here. And obviously, if there's a green body, then that's vice versa, there's your open and there's your close. The, the, the shape of the body, um, textbooks may well change it, but as far as I'm concerned, the, the actual difference between those two isn't so relevant. Obviously, a stronger candle is gonna be one with a close. This may be better for you from a hanging man perspective, so that to be a black candle or a red candle, but really what you're looking at is what's happened intraday. And that's the good thing about candlestick patterns is they're telling you what's happened intraday in a brief summary. So you don't have to look at the chart, but you can see and theorize exactly what's going on. Generally, that's gonna be that intraday you've had a sell-off and it's pushed back up and it's kind of closed near the open. Now, whether that happens to be red and you've closed up below the open or whether it's green and you've closed above it, that's obviously a little bit more bearish slightly, but the whole point is this action here, this sell-off. That is indicating potentially that after we've had this steady uptrend for a long way, several days, that sentiment may well be changing. The sell-off has happened, sellers have happened. Yes, the buyers have overcome it and it's managed to push it back to highs, giving you that classical pattern shape on the candlestick. However, the, 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 um, the presence of those sellers initially is enough to say, hey, we could be at the top here, we could be reversing. That sell-off there may well be the start of something bigger. So the idea is that you're selling that, it's a bearish pattern after you've had an uptrend. And the same with all of these patterns, guys, is that what happens before is just as important as this pattern here. That candlestick positioned anywhere in a range or anything is completely meaningless, it's irrelevant, nobody cares about it. If you're in a brutal uptrend and you start to see that, then maybe you can start to position for the short side, or maybe you can start to lean on the short side, unwind your long positions, you know, scale out of something or start scaling into your short and that kind of thing. And if we look at the official, uh, official definition here, it actually for the anatomy, because this is the textbook thing, guys, I'm not really, uh, a huge fan of saying it's got to be exactly this. There's obviously preferences that we'd like to see and wouldn't like to see and discussed in the other video with the um, hammer that I like to see a good tail because that indicates kind of a reversal. Maybe a longer tail for me personally is quite good because it shows a little bit more aggression to the sellers. But here in Investopedia, it's saying that the, the candle should have a small body near the top of the candle and a large tail or lower shell. It should be at least twice the size of the body. And just as we've said here, the candle can be green or red, a red candle closes considered more bearish. So uh, the official line, if you like, is that it's twice the size of the body. So in other words, that's got to be twice the size of that to be an official hanging man. Do you think that matters? Let me know in the comments below whether that's important, whether you think it's got to be double, or whether you think you can get away with being smaller, or whether it's got to be more than that. Uh, I'd love to hear what your thoughts on this. And if you use this strategy regularly, or this candlestick pattern regularly in your trading, 
uh, day trading, swing trading. Again, uh, let me know if you've got any tips or tricks and ways to use it, and we'll share those in future videos. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe and you haven't done so already, please do. More videos, more candlestick pattern videos coming from me in the next few weeks, the next few days, the next few months. Also talking about strategy, technical, discipline, psychology, anything that's going to help us make more money as traders. Take care.